Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to learn about polymorphism. To understand polymorphism, you're going to first want to understand how inheritance works in Java. For more information on that, check out my videos on inheritance. The first one will be linked in the upper right hand corner of this screen. Two things to know about polymorphism. First, reference variables can point to an object of the same class or an object of a subclass. Second, if a variable is pointing to an object of a subclass, only methods inherited or overridden from the original class will be available. We'll talk more about this later. Let's look at this arrangement of classes. For our purposes, let's assume all the methods in these classes are public and non-static. We have animal up at the top. Then animal has two subclasses, mammal and reptile. Mammal has two subclasses, lion and bat. Reptile has one subclass, dragon. In some cases, we'll be adding on new methods in the subclasses. In other cases, we'll be overriding methods from superclasses, like sleep, which overrides the sleep method from animal. Let's write some code. Imagine we declare a variable Alex of type animal. Since Alex is an animal type variable, it can point to an object of either animal or any of animal's subtypes. Imagine we have Alex point at a new instance of the lion class. Alex will be able to access several methods. First, it will be able to access eat, which is inherited from animal. Second, it will be able to access sleep, which is overridden in lion, and it's overridden from animal. If we use the super keyword, we might even be able to access the original version of the sleep method from animal. To learn more about the super keyword, click on the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. However, since Alex is an animal, it won't be able to access methods that didn't originally exist in some form in animal. For example, control temp does not exist in animal, so it won't be able to be accessed by the variable Alex. Also, roar never existed in animal, so we won't be able to access it from the variable Alex, which is an animal. Let's write some more code. Imagine we call Alex and the eat method. In this case, it will call the method in the animal class, which is inherited all the way down to the lion class. Imagine we were called the method sleep. Sleep exists in the animal class, however it was overridden in the lion class. And since Alex is pointing to an instance of lion, we will use the overridden version of the sleep method. Suppose we tried to call control temp from the variable Alex. This is illegal because control temp never existed in the original animal class. However, if we made Alex a variable type mammal or a variable type lion, Alex.controlTemp would work. Let's write some code and see how this could work for us in practice. Imagine we were trying to create an array zoo of type animal and had it point to an array of size 4 of animals. We could initialize index 0 with a lion. We could initialize index 1 with a reptile. We can initialize index 2 with a bat because lion, reptile, and bat are all subclasses of animals. This gives us a lot of flexibility with using subclasses. Now let's imagine that later on we want to make changes to this program. We decide that we want to add a class for alligator. Alligator will extend reptile. Now we don't even have to go back and modify any of our original code. We can simply create a new instance of alligator and have index 3 of zoo point to it, even though we never imagined having an alligator when we first wrote all this original code. For further reading on polymorphism, check out this website or type in polymorphism oracle into Google and choose the first result.